See, they're just starting to grow their saddle feathers. It's um, it's about as niche a business as you can imagine. Because what I found is even knowledgeable, experienced, serious fly tires are a little vague on where the feathers come from on the bird. So here's the saddle feather. Here's the cape feather. And a lot of people kind of nodding their head. Oh, that's where it comes from. And uh, then we sell a few of these feathers. They're called schlappen, which is a transitional feather between the saddle and the tail. Is that the little fuzzy, soft-looking? No, this fuzzy soft stuff right here is by the rear end, to be blunt. It's called chickaboo. Okay. And it's very good for nymphs. It moves in the water. It absorbs water. Well, this is dry fly. It doesn't absorb Sets water. It causes yeah. it to sit on the meniscus or the surface tension of the water. So it's a surprisingly demanding consumer. And they'll pay good prices for these things. How many flies can in a saddle or a... A good saddle like this will be a minimum of 2,000 flies. Oh, God.